Alright, hello everyone. Welcome today to a quick uh, introduction to Ames, the new game by NHN, which is a 51 man battle royal in a 5 minutes arena. Gang members with the most money by the end of the round is the MVG, which is the, uh, yeah, the winner, basically. And uh, you can enter as teams of 3, which is why the number is 51. But you can also kill each other while in the same team. So friendly fire is also watch for that. This is from the company NHN which created Compass. So you're going to be seeing some similarities between this game and Compass itself. So let's go straight into uh, the introductions of how this game works. We're going to go into the training room. And I gotta say this game is new. But it's pretty interesting. This is the first survival game I actually played properly because it is just not it's not an FPS to begin with. I mean you still have to do headshots, but it is not an FPS, so I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. Alright, so let's go straight into this. We're not going to near move near the robots because they are super noisy. Okay, let's go into here. Okay, so let's start with the movement. There's this movement control area, which is this circle over here. So what you do is uh, to move around, you just uh, tap it and you hold it down and then you turn left or right. To dash, you double tap it. Now during dash, you cannot turn your camera around. So take note of that. Now uh, to do a step, you flick in the direction left or right. And if you do consecutive steps, it becomes uh, shorter and shorter. So you need uh, like a 3 second cooldown before you go into the next step. Now uh, the next thing will be uh, taking cover. In order to take cover, you just need to move towards the cover and then you slow go towards it. You don't dash over it because when you dash over it, right, uh, you are going to vault over like this. So that's the vaulting over. So when you are behind cover, you won't get hit by headshots unless your opponent moves right next to you. And you will be able to uh, prevent, how do we call it, prevent direct hits to you that makes you stun. Then uh, it will allow you to look around without actually moving and it will also allow you to recover your health faster. Yes, you can recover health in this game just by not taking damage for some time and if you're behind cover, your health will recover even faster. Okay, the next thing you can do is, uh, the next thing we need to talk about is aiming. Okay, how, how, why is this game called aims? Because you actually aim and you use a gun for it. This is aiming, you hold down. Uh, you hold down in somewhere in the control area and once the circle goes full, you start aiming, okay? Uh, all aims have different distance. You'll be shown on your heart how long your distance is. So you said in order for me to hit the guy behind, I need to be like 5 meter away. Yeah, it, it shows the number just now just that there's way too many robots so it becomes a little difficult. But that's okay, uh, you'll see it in game. Now, uh, all weapons have different distance, and you'll be shown. Uh, you have to some of the weapons that you have to charge it down, and it will gain extra properties. In order to cancel the charge or cancel your attack, just hold it down and then let it go outside. Now, uh, to the next thing is your camera. To move the camera, you tap and hold. You hold and slide around outside of the circle. If you do it within the circle, is for moving. You do it outside of the circle. Uh, circle is to look left or right. You can look up and down as well, but that's only when you are aiming. All right. Now, uh, there are um, some other ways for you to aim with your weapon because you can use gyro in this game. So you hold it down and you go up and down. I'm actually moving my phone but you can't really tell it. I use a blend of both. When I'm aiming left or right, I use my finger because it's a lot faster. And when I'm aiming up and down, I will use gyro because it, it is slower and it is a lot better to allow me to go for a headshot. If I use my finger, it's a little too fast. Alright, uh, the next thing we want to talk about is the gang action. So, so this on the button on the right is your gang action. If you hold it down, you can see, you can aim and you can see what uh, what range it will be. Alright, Diesel's one is really strong because you can hit behind cover, hit people behind cover when you jump over them, and it knocks them down, and you can do a follow up. Okay, gang action recovers over time as long as you are out of combat. When you are attacking or when you are being attacked, taking damage, you will not recover. So when you stop attacking and you start running, dashing and all that, you will recover slowly over time until it fully it is fully charged. So once it hit the little marker over there, you will be able to use it again. The next thing is your hero skill, or rather not, not hero skill, that's compass. Your gang skill. Okay, your gang skill on the left 
This is a super. Okay, that's the only way to charge this super is by collecting money. If you don't collect money, you're not going to charge it. Every time you, you collect money, it will slowly charge over time. And once it, around 8 seconds after you stop collecting money, it will stop charging. So what this game wants you to do is to keep going into combat. Or uh, when you lose money, you pick it up again. Or you go to ATM and you pick up money. And you will keep charging your super. Just, just keep being within areas where there is money lying around or keep fighting people and you will be able to charge it to full within a minute or two so okay that yeah we're done with gang skill now we will, let's talk about two very important things the bullet skills okay uh attack bullet skills everyone will be able to figure it out on their own so what we want to talk about is damage cuts okay this is guard skills so guard bullets right allows puts a shield around you. This shield actually prevents you from a number of things. It prevents you from being knocked down and it prevents you from being stunned by effects and by other bullet effects or by skills like judgment who can pull you over like root hog. Now uh, this type of skills you want to prevent so you put a guard counter on or you activate a guard bullet immediately after taking a lot of money and start running away. That's what a lot of people does. Then a uh, health recovery card also very important because this is the only way for you to recover your health during combat. Now, if you are using a character with a lot of HP, this is a great thing. And uh, one last thing to note is uh, your HP bar. So, when you look over here, somewhere over here, you see the HP that's uh, green and white. What this means that is this is called a damage stop effect. If you take the uh, hit, like a sniper shot to the head, that does so much damage that it lowers your HP to below 50% below the white bar, you actually stop taking damage there. Alright, so nobody in this game will be able to one-shot you. That's what damage stop is. You, for the snipers do so, they have to hit you once and then they have to hit shot, uh, full charge shot you one more time before you can kill. But during that time, once you take damage below 50%, start, start. Just, just start dodging around and using your heal cards because once you heal again, right, they will not be able to take you down uh, because your damage stop effect will remain in place again. So if you take damage to the white bar, quickly heal up and then they have to hit you again. It doesn't really work against those, those like this type of Gatling gun because they, they are just constantly taking a uh, little bit, little bit of damage. So, uh... It's just a hit stop, uh, a stop gap measure against snipers and other hunters like uh, Shinmon. Now, um, one more side note to add, okay? Uh, during combat, you would want sometimes you would want to aim low to trip your opponents if you can do a lot of damage. When you have the attack up, Barbara, I tend to not hit them on the head. I hit them on the legs before I hit them on the head. So uh, this type of things is good, and there's this other character with the fire extinguisher. That shoots fire. Okay, you you do it there, you will be able to knock the person down and then kill him very easily. Then uh, when the one last thing is that when you are carrying in more than five hundred thousand, I mean five hundred k of money, your character will be slowed down, and this debuff is extremely bad for running away. However, if it's the last ten seconds, there's no harm just taking as much money as you want. So it really depends on how greedy you want to be near the target so here is the uh, it for the tutorial and let's go for a quick game to see how the game is like all right let's go oh dear we have to fight that there's a one alicia at least Okay, so this game has a lot of really good music. Just take a look. Oh, go, go take a look at the main website and then figure out the intros. Some of them are super good. I, ex I especially like Ambrosa. Okay, I don't want to drop first, but because I'm below, there's a very high chance I will run into people. Never ever get yourself into a random fight for no reason. So get the hell out. Yeah, you need to you need to figure out who is the human and who is the that looks like a human. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Okay, there's a bit of lag there, but that's okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we so we want to level up. Hold down against this thing, then you get the hell out because I hear something behind me. 
just don't know what. Okay, look. Let's try another bot. Nobody, no, nobody will climb up like that for no reason. Get more money, get yourself another level. To gain more levels, you can actually kill these little robots here, which most people will do. Okay, the, the, that Electra is definitely a human player. I don't want to touch human players yet. Alright, I don't want to touch players who actually knows what they're doing for now. Uh, because it's usually around the last two minutes when everything gets real hectic. A bomb there is from uh, Shinmon. Uh, let's get ourselves more levels. Level 9 is max. We want more stats. And then we want our super up. So we need to find... Uh, all the ATMs are gone. Oh wait, there we go. There's one. A real human player, it might be <laughs> running away. Why? You know what? Let's, let's just go. Let's see if he chases. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. Jumping <laughs> He's running away. I don't want to deal with that. I just want a super. Okay, to get more money, I probably have to go down center. There's a shortcut over here which I can go over. Okay, get me, get, get me another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not hectic yet. The last one minute is here. Somebody started attacking the target. Let's go. Hit him in the back, and then he will fall. So don't, don't, don't leave your back open. This is important. All right, get myself more money. Look at all that money. Getting the fuck out. Two hundred k is good enough for me. I don't need so many. I really don't need so many. Alright, we still have our super so we can wait till the last 30 seconds. Alright, 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 I think it's time to start. Wow, somebody's flying. Who is that? Oh, 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 there's a lot of money there. There's a lot of money to be gotten there. For the last 20 seconds, we're going into super. 10 seconds, good. Oh, there's money here. Okay, that works. Dead. Three seconds. Okay, he's not dead, but but I I, I thought I hit him. Uh, but he was a sprinter anyway, so it will it would have been difficult to catch. That's perfectly fine. So this is pretty much how the game plays, and you want to be within the top five. Okay, top three to be best because top three will allows you to climb rank a lot faster. And you want to collect the money, yeah, you see I'm third Because I probably hit some money off the guy just now He only got 36k, you really, he really shouldn't have done chase me He could have, he could have gone for the first place Wow, but the first place had 900k Oh yeah, it's Electra, it's very normal for that So, use Sprinters if you really want to go for MVG uh, Use an Attacker if you want to stay safe and still be able to kill people And use Tanks if you just want to rob people of money Hunters are there just to kill people and try to... Once you clear everyone, you will be able to collect money. That's pretty much it. So uh, let's take a look at the points we earned. We are number 3, so we got 19 points. Uh, it's it's a good... It's a hard climb if you don't get top 3. But if you, are, if you have the ability to get into top 3 almost every time by playing smart, you will climb in this game very quickly. Okay, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in another video. Sometimes we, we will probably start doing character-specific videos once a week or so. Alright, bye-bye!